Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Richard Schneeman. I'm here today to talk to you about Wicked. It is a gem I wrote for turning your Rails controllers into step-by-step -step wizards. Uh, one of the most common things to use a wizard for is after sign-up. So a, a user might sign up just uh, simply providing their, um, their email address and their password, which might be good enough for your models, um, but you might also desire to access additional information such as perhaps their zip code, or maybe you'd like to ask them to sign up for Twitter. Uh, so that's exactly what we are going to do. Uh, we are going to code into this, uh, this simple application. Uh, so I already have created a after register controller and um, I am first going to turn it into a wicked wizard controller. Uh, uh, there we go. Now we need to define a, a set of steps we want to go through. We're going to start off simple and just have one. And um, we want to then have a show action, um, which might have our user. And um, then what we will want to do is render our wizard. So what this will do, um, as we call that URL, so um, in this case, if we just did the resource, it will be slash uh, after register slash um, add zip because it is show action. Uh, we can we can then um, come to our after register view and it knows based on convention to call the add zip um, HTML file, the H, uh, add zip view file. So at this point in time, we might want to we might want to uh, go ahead and. Uh, Add in some messages such as thanks for signing up. And then we can add a uh, form. So we're going to want to ask our user to input their uh, zip. So it's going to be a text field. We're going to add a nice little placeholder because it's uh, convenient for users signing up. And then we are, want to have a submit. And this is going to take us to our next action. Specify some pretty Twitter bootstrap uh, classes. And we can end our... Uh, form. Um, it might also be convenient to have a uh, next step so we can link to um, skip um, and pass it in our path which is going to be the next wizard path and that is given to us by using the wicked gem. Um, one other thing we'll need to do here is in the form uh, since a form for user when you submit it, it would typically go to user update. Um, we don't want it to do that. We want it to hit our update action. So we can add in a specific URL so we can have it hit the wizard path. Um, and in order to make sure we hit our update action, we can specify our method, which is going to be put. Um, so since we're going to be hitting an update action, we also need to specify our um, update action in our after register controller. So here we can define update. And then um, we can just call update attributes on that user. There you go. Uh, and finally, we're going to want to call render wizard like we did before. Uh, and that's really where the magic happens. But we're going to pass in our user. So in, in this case, if uh, the Wicked Wizard gets a, an attribute that can be saved, if it's, if it's valid, if it did save, it will just go to our next step. For instance, we might have a um, Twitter step. Add Twitter. 
Um, so if we were on add zip and we hit this update action, the next step would be add Twitter. But if the user didn't save, if there were validation errors, it will go ahead and just re-render that action again. Um, so we've got, this all looks pretty, pretty good. Um, we've got that wired up. Let's take a look at our, uh, since we're using device in this example, um, we're going to take a look at our uh, registrations controller. And do note that we added this um, after signup path for resource. And I went ahead and called, we're going to be going to the after register path. Um, which is going to be the show action of the after register controller. And then we are going to go to the add zip ID. Um, so once we go and once we create the user, um, again, we're using device, um, it should call this path and we should uh, be redirected to this controller. Um, we're going to show and then the first step that we're going to show is our add zip. So let's go ahead and see if, uh, let's see if this all worked out. So again, once I click sign up, I should see that um, add zip. Uh, and there you go. Um, we have our, um, our after register action. Um, so I can, I can either skip this or I can go ahead and input it and go to the next step. Um, though we haven't actually written the next step. So it will call add Twitter next, but it's, uh, we don't have a view for it. So let's just create a quick uh, add Twitter html.erb and um, we can just do this uh, we're just going to kind of fake it for now uh, with a link uh, to fake twitter connect um, and this is just going to call the next wizard path uh, there we go and again we're going to want to put in a skip just in case, and that's going to be the next wizard path again. So, if all of that worked successfully, uh, we should be able to update our zip code, which I'm going to put in Austin. I click next, it's going to hit the update action. Um, so we should be able to go into our database and see that indeed it, it was um, updated or we can go back and refresh the page uh, and yes indeed the uh, the zip code was saved so 787 was saved it hit that update action um, so once you hit the update it will just call the next step which in this case is um, is going to be add Twitter which we have our fake Twitter connect button um, and we have our skip button we can make that a little bit prettier if we want to if you're um, like the uh, Twitter bootstrap. I'm just playing around with it for the first time, so pretty pretty happy with it. Uh, uh, there we go. And so if once you click either one of these, it'll just take you to the next step. And since there isn't a step, it will just take you to the root URL, or you can specify and you can actually override that if you so desire. Um, so one thing a lot of um, you, you might want to do is actually skip a step. You might want to say, all right, well, um, I don't like bugging my users about uh, about different things. I don't like asking them, you know, hey, uh, you know, add your zip code, add Twitter. Uh, so maybe in this situation we want to say, if you didn't add your zip code, maybe you're not likely to add Twitter. I, you know, just as, bear with me, that's an, an example. Um, so you can use the step uh, method and that will tell you this will return back a symbol of what step you're currently on. So either add zip or add Twitter. So in here, um, we can have a case and say when um, add Twitter, we are going to uh, skip step. And skip step is a um, method provided to us by Wicked. And um, whenever skip step is applied, it will just do exactly what you think. It will go to the next step. So if we called skip step on add zip, it would go to add Twitter. Um, so we don't want to always skip the step. We only want to skip it if um, our user zip code is blank. Um, so let's go ahead and refresh, make sure it still works just like we think it is, Will, that we currently have a zip code. So let's go and uh, change our add zip. 
And since blank also takes a empty string to mean blank, we'll go ahead and just remove our uh, zip code. So if I submit this, it should override my current zip code with an empty string. And um, because we're checking for a, an empty zip code, it should just go ahead and skip the Twitter step and go directly to our root. So let's go ahead and try that. And you actually saw in the URL briefly, it actually went to that other, um, other URL. And then it quickly said, oh, no, we don't want that. We want the next step. Um, so there you go. That is a quick and easy way you can turn any controller into a step-by-step uh, -step controller. Uh, and using those two actions, the, the show and the update, um, and that pattern of going to a show action and then going to an update action, um, definitely you can get a lot of mileage out of it. Uh, so I'm interested to see what, uh, what you can do with it. Thank you very much for tuning in. Again, my name is Richard Schneeman, and have a great day.